This is an A blood cell type. The A blood cell has A antigens. These antigens are located on the A cell's outer surface. The A cell has a happy relationship with the B antibodies in the plasma. This is because the antigen binding sites on the B antibodies cannot bind with the A antigens on the A cells. They just don't fit. But if for some reason there were A antibodies with the A antigens, then they would bind with a high affinity and kill the RBCs. They fit. We don't want that to happen. We want our RBCs to live long and healthy lives. So it is important that we only have B antibodies when we have A antigens present. For the B blood cell type, the same relationship is true, but vice versa. So the B blood type has B antigens. The antigens again are located on the B cell's outer surface. The B cells have a very happy relationship with the A antibodies in the plasma because they don't fit, they're different. If B antibodies were present with the B antigens, they would bind and kill the red blood cell. We don't want that. We want our B antigens and A antibodies to live long lives together. The AB blood type is unique. It has both A and B antigens present on the outside surface of the cell. This means that because the A and B antigens are present, no A or B antibodies should be present. If they were, they would bind and kill the RBCs. So if an individual is blood type AB, there are no A or B antibodies present in their plasma. Lastly, there's the very unique O blood cell type. This blood cell has neither A nor B antigens present on the outside surface of the cell. This means that there is nothing for the A and B antibodies to bind to, so they live freely in the plasma and do not cause any cell death. So in short, you want your antibodies and antigens to be different, so they do not bind and cause your red blood cell to die. If your antibodies and antigens can't bind, then you'll live a long and happy life. This is the premise of immunohematology, which studies the antigen-antibody reactions and how these reactions relate to blood disorders.